uh, not to forget the double tons by Carmen the Mendes and Dananjay de Silva. Sri Lanka tour to Bangladesh, uh, not to forget the double tons by Carmen the Mendes and Dananjay de Silva. Yes, indeed, Khadija. Um, the first test uh, Sri Lanka really needed this win because uh, uh, we played two games in the uh, World Test Championship uh, last year and we lost both those games to Pakistan. Uh, so uh, we really needed this uh, win to uh, get our campaign back on track and also it's a really good uh, confidence booster uh, to the uh, new skipper Dhananjay De Silva as he began his uh, um, re nasty skipper with a very good win against Afghanistan but uh, this was his first real test because uh, this was against um, a team who are competing at the World Test Championship. So, um, Bangladesh, they uh, won the toss and they elected to feel first, uh, mainly because uh, the wicket uh, had a lot of assistance uh, to the fast bowlers and um, the uh, the addition to uh, ball first actually looked really good for them because Sri Lanka uh, lost uh, five wickets, uh, I think, for around 54 runs in that first innings. And then um, there was this uh, one change that uh, Sri Lanka made uh, in the uh, playing 11 from the last game that was uh, Sadira Samarikram going out and uh, Kamadu Mendis coming back into the side. Uh, Kamadu Mendis uh, has been in really good form when it comes to the domestic arena and um, he uh, played one test game, one test match uh, uh, in 2022, if I'm not wrong, against Australia and he scored a half injury in that uh, scored 61 and uh, after that he had to stay out of the side because uh, there was uh, no room in the playing 11 so um, he finally got the opportunity and uh, we need to give a lot, a lot of credit to uh, Dhananjay Dissil the skipper and the selectors uh, for opting to go with Kamenu Mendis uh, because uh, Sadir Samarikam in his last five innings uh, he has scored just uh, 79 runs if I'm not wrong and uh, that's the reason why Kamenu Mendis was uh, opted uh, ahead of uh, Sadir Samarikram and uh, as I mentioned earlier it proved to be a very good decision as uh, Kamadu Mendes and Dalanjay De Silva managed to uh, put together a brilliant partnership for the six wicket that um, actually turned the tides in favour of Sri Lanka. The partnership uh, was 202 for the six wicket. Uh, Kamadu Mendes uh, scored 102. Dalanjay De Silva also scored, also scored 102. Uh, Dalanjay De Silva scoring his 11th uh, Test century and uh, Kamadu Mendes scoring his first. And then um, Sri Lanka they lost their way after that. Uh, lost the uh, next four wickets for just 21 runs and got bowled off for 280. And uh, the Sri Lankan fast ball. Uh, came into the act uh, very very early and performed brilliantly uh, they took all the 20 wickets in this game uh, that is just the third instance uh, that uh the Pacers uh, to call the ten, 20 wickets for Sri Lanka in a test match and the uh, first instance uh, that happened away from home if I'm not wrong. So uh, it was a gr brilliant effort by uh, Vishwa Fernando, Kasun Rajita and Lahiru Kumara especially with the fact that Asita Fernando was not available, uh, he was our main bowler during the uh, last year or so in the longer format. So uh, we didn't have him but uh, those three they made sure that uh, Sri Lanka uh, managed to uh, get the best out of the conditions available and uh, Bangladesh they were bowled out 488 in their first innings, giving Sri Lanka a lead of 92. Uh, when it comes uh, to the bowling, Vishwa Fernando took four wickets, uh, Kasun Rajita and Lahiru Kumara took three wickets each. So, with a lead of 92, uh, Sri Lanka once again. Uh, crumbled a bit uh, in their second innings as well uh, as uh, they were 6 down for 126 uh, with a lead of uh, just over 200 and then uh, once again it was Dhananjay De Silva and Kamadu Mendes uh, who managed to put together another great partnership a partnership of 173 for the 7th wicket uh, Kamadu Mendes uh, scoring 164 uh, back to back centuries for him I think he became the 7th Sri Lankan to score uh, centuries in both innings of a test match uh, he, before him Dhananjay De Silva scored another century as well so he became the 6th uh, Sri Lankan and he became the first ever Sri Lankan captain to achieve that feat, uh, achieve that feat, Khadija. He's the he's the first ever Sri Lankan captain uh, to score centuries in both the innings of a Test match. So uh, that's a very special milestone for the Anshadi Silva, uh, especially with the fact that uh, he's uh, still very early in his reign as the uh, skipper of uh, the Sri Lankan uh, Test team. So uh, Sri Lanka at the end made 418. Uh, Dimut Karna also made a 50, scored 52, uh, top of the order, and uh, with a lead of 510, uh, Bangladesh uh, they really didn't have any clue on what they had to do especially in the last year they had to uh, phase around uh, 
15 to 20 overs in the uh, last um, hour or so in the third day and they lost five wickets i mean some of their shot selections were very questionable how litton das got out especially uh, trying to uh, charge down the uh, quick bowler and getting a top edge um, and he got out in his very first delivery so it was very questionable and uh, all of that uh, you know uh, played uh, very very well for sri lanka and became an advantage for sri lanka and um, yesterday uh, the fourth day uh, during the fourth day uh, bangladesh uh, tried to give a little bit of fight with mominol haq uh, scoring 87 the former bangladesh captain but uh, eventually they were bowled out for 182 uh, in the second innings uh, kasun rajita uh, claimed five wickets and ended up with eight wickets in the uh, game and uh, vishwa fernand took three wickets uh, he took seven wickets in the uh, match and uh, lahir kumar also shifted in with two uh, taking five wickets so uh, uh, vishwa fernand do, uh, took eight wickets in the game and uh, uh, kasun rajita took eight wickets in the game uh, uh vishwa fernand took 7 and lahir kumar took 5 uh, so that's how uh, the three pages managed to take all the 20 wickets for sri lanka so uh Going back uh, to the uh, point of Kamdu Mendis, uh, Khadija, uh, having someone like him batting at number 7, it's a really, really good uh, sign for Sri Lanka because uh, um, with him batting uh, at that position, uh, that gives uh, the Sri Lankan batting a lot of depth because um, that number 7 position is a place that didn't pro uh, produce centuries for Sri Lanka during the last uh, 5 to 6 years, I believe, because uh, Niroshan Dikkal played and um, he scored a lot of 90s, 80s, 70s, but he never got the chance to score a hundred. Uh, Sadhira Samarikram came in and scored a century against Ireland but after that uh, even uh, he couldn't uh, contribute but uh, Kamadu Mendes coming in and uh, scoring uh, those two centuries uh, batting um, at number seven in the first innings and number eight in the second innings because Vishwa Fernando uh, was promoted up the order to bat uh, as a night watchman. So uh, Kamadu Mendes also uh, registered a world record uh, Khadija. He is the first ever batter in the history of Test cricket to score two centuries batting at number seven and number eight. So uh, that's a huge feat for someone who's uh, just playing his second test and also um, Dan Shadisal and Kamdu Mendes uh, they managed to uh, uh uh, uh, they managed to uh, compile a partnership of 200 uh, in the first innings and then a partnership of 473 in the second innings and that's just the third time if I'm not wrong in the history of the game that uh, the two same batters uh, scoring a partnership of 450 in both the innings so uh, um, two historical partnerships uh, those who were uh, for uh, Sri Lanka and in the whole uh, test uh, cricket history uh, between Dhananjo Di Silva and Kamadu Mendes so Nishank is also in the sidelines and uh, there is some talk that Patu Nishank might might come into the test court for the England tour because uh, he is uh, probably the uh, best batter for Sri Lanka at the moment uh, but he's, he has he's been uh, kept away from the test arena because of his back injury so um, I feel that because it's a very important tour Sri Lanka is getting a tour to England after six seven years so because of that I feel that Sri Lanka might top to go with Padum Nishanga so uh, the likes of Kusal Mendes, Nishan Madushka especially they'll have to uh, score some runs if they are to keep their place in the playing 11 so uh, that's the news at the moment and uh, the second test uh, will be another good game and I feel that uh, Bangladesh might uh, give a rank turn in the second test because the Sri Lankan Pacers were just too good for them. So uh, let's see uh, how things play out in the second test. Yes, like to see. And indeed, what an exceptional knock by Kamindu Mendes and Dhananjay De Silva.